Respiration in Plants Respiration and its initial steps The breaking of carbon bonds of complex compounds through oxidation within the cell leading to release of considerable amount of energy is called respiration. Both aerobic and anaerobic types of respiration have a common series of initial steps termed glycolysis. During glycolysis, carbohydrates are converted into pyruvic acid. The pyruvic acid thus formed enters the mitochondria where oxygen and necessary enzymes are available. The pyruvic acid is finally converted into carbon dioxide and water. The sequence of events constitutes the Krebs cycle. The overall events of respiration are shown in these schematic representations. Glycolysis Glycolysis is common pathway for both aerobic and anaerobic modes of respiration. In this process, glucose undergoes partial oxidation to form two molecules of pyruvic acid. The entire process of glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. Note the various intermediate reactions which lead to the conversion of glucose to two molecules of pyruvic acid in the summarized representation. Krebs cycle Krebs cycle was first elucidated by a British biochemist, Sir Hans Krebs, in the year 1937. Aerobic respiration takes place within the mitochondria. Pyruvate, which is formed by the glycolytic catabolism of carbohydrates in the cytosol, undergoes oxidative decarboxylation by a complex set of cyclic reactions. At the end of Krebs cycle, we get eight molecules of NADH plus H plus, two molecules of FADH2 and two molecules of ATP. Difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. The oxidative breakdown of respiratory substrates with the help of atmospheric oxygen is known as aerobic respiration, whereas Oxidation of respiratory substrates in the absence of atmospheric oxygen is known as anaerobic respiration. The differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration is tabulated here. The electron transport system. The metabolic pathway through which the electron passes from one carrier to another is called the electron transport system as represented in the diagram. This is the last step of aerobic respiration in which oxidation of reduced coenzymes, namely NADH+, H+, and FADH2, formed during glycolysis and Krebs cycle takes place through the electron transport system. Oxidation of one molecule of NADH gives three molecules of ATP, while oxidation of one molecule of FADH2 produces two molecules of ATP. Interrelationships among metabolic pathways The respiratory pathway is an amphibolic pathway as it involves both anabolism and catabolism. All along the respiratory process, there is a breakdown of substrates and synthesis of substrates. Note the interrelationships among metabolic pathways shown in the schematic representation and the breakdown of respiratory substrates to form carbon dioxide and water.